I am standing outside a random, well, not so random, inspection station, way station, just outside Golden, BC. Now, I'm not a trucker at all, but why am I here? Well, this particular way station is located just outside Golden. Now, what's closer to here is an old town called Donald. This way station is the way station that Edison Motors uses to weigh Topsy and the undisclosed truck and everything they're working on. I'm on my way to go and meet the guys. Uh, I've met Chase before and uh, right when they first got started and jumped on board and with a little investment and you know, it's been absolutely amazing to watch them grow along the way. And I'm just coming back from Calgary, going to Penticton and I reached out to Chase and he said, come on in, stop on by. So here we go. This will be a, this will be good. All right, leaving the way station. We're going to uh, drive on down to Donald and we're going to uh, see what they got for surprises down there. Donald ahead. Uh, it's pretty cool. Actually, when it came out, coming down the, coming down the hill on the, the to, to the valley, you look out and there's one spot and you can just see all the work the boys have done and it's absolutely incredible i don't know i'm i'm super excited there's a sign look at that there we go log yard gravel pit edison motors office and shop look at this oh that's cool very cool but yeah i like to have been been out met him online actually not totally true i mean i've known of him one of my installers back in grand prairie used to uh decal his his trucks for him on the side so you know, uh, no one of them and whatnot. But yeah, I saw them online and uh, I don't know, I just kind of liked what they were doing and liked how they were talking. Years ago, we had a uh, green innovation that we uh, basically built a big cash incinerator and had a lot of hurdles, but it was it was pretty cool to be able to go and talk to someone who was just starting in their, in their path. And uh, I don't know, I, I babbled like I normally do and told them where we failed and just hopefully it helps. I don't know, who knows, but yeah, this is pretty cool. Boys are hard at work. Of course, I have no idea where to go, <laughs> but pretty cool. Like it, it's, it's awesome to see like through good reputation, good, you know, just good energy. Look at what they're building. You know, this is, this is Canadian ingenuity, man. It's bloody awesome. All right, I just talked to Chase. He's tied up in meetings, but that's all good. I mean, I was supposed to be here an hour earlier, a little tied up. So I asked him if I could go over, take a look at Topsy. I was an early investor, first round, second round. My son, a bunch of my family members, a whole bunch of people, a bunch of my friends, everybody I could uh, get in touch with uh, believe in Canadian and uh, Canadian manufacturing. It's a great opportunity. His son, Jeff, and uh, his girlfriend, Kelly, you know, they came over and they, uh, at one of the shows and they helped polish up Carl and Topsy and you know for the for the very first show and but this is the first time I've been able to come over and see it uh, which is uh so I'm pretty excited actually well I made it I am here Finn and I he's not impressed I am here in front of the truck I didn't want to see but it's kind of cool to see here ah, a defunct Nicola that's uh, pretty cool TRE well that's an EV was wow i wonder if this is the truck they pushed down the hill <laughs> to make it look like they knew how to build something oh, i love that there's one here that is terrific and uh geez do i save the best for last or what topsy in the flesh and here's the family <laughs> carl thomas topsy i don't know who's on the end who's on the end we got a name no name that finn all right, so this is Carl. This is their, the first, very first unit that they built. There's a cat generator in there, a little tucked away. Of course, they're running a modified Tesla, <laughs> Tesla motor. And this is just to prove that they could build it and it would work. And that, you know, that little electric motor had the jam to, 
to do work and they tested it and it worked. And here's their first, well, beta, I guess. This will be the second second unit. Cab and everything is, everything is their own design, really. Uh, it's pretty awesome stuff. This is a truck that they were told, oh no, you can't, you'll never be able to do it. And uh, they did it. Wacon built the cab in Penticton. Pretty sweet. Like they just took stuff that was available and, you know, figured out a way to put it all together. And that's what innovating is all about. It's like, okay, well, you know, you start out innovating and you go, okay, so I'm really smart. I need a widget. I'm going to design this widget. You know, it's going to take me years to engineer and get the CAD drawings and all the testing and all that stuff done. That's great. But you can burn through cash real fast and not have any revenue stream. And when, in essence, you're learning. And what these guys did is they went through and they said, okay, well, where can we get some axles? Where can we get the, the controllers? Who can we work with in Canada? Nobody? Okay, well, what's the next best thing? Where can we, where can we go to get these parts? Yeah, the axles, I think they, they came out of China. Um, but, I mean, they went over, they met the factories, they, they did everything right, uh, as far as I'm concerned. Maybe I'm a little partial. I don't know. Um, but I don't care if I, I'm a little partial. These guys are working their butts off and doing a great job. I wonder. Oh, Topsy's open. Look at this. This is cool. I'm standing in like the world's first vocational work truck. That's hybrid electric, diesel generator. I don't know. This is pretty cool. Very, very cool. See, they've got some, some work they're doing on it. That's the thing with, with test beds, right? You try it, you go through, you find this like, well, I didn't like that. It didn't like the, how that worked. And that solid state re, or uh, switching setup, that worked, that didn't. And it's all about learning, right? I mean, this is, this, is, this is how you learn. This is how you build stuff. I mean, it's no different than, you know, you build your first, your first table and you don't like how it looks, so you make it better. And uh, this is what they're doing. And they've got a lot of people backing them. And I'm happy that they're making it work, man. This is pretty sweet. There's a big cat. I think they've gone to Scania now. A little, little different, a little more modern. No DEF fluid. So, yeah, it's pretty sweet. <laughs> oh, those guys. And right there is one of the big reasons why this location works so good. They got a rail spur comes actually off and goes right into one of the old buildings that they're fixing up. It's convenient, kind of makes sense. You know, even if a guy doesn't get to go for a ride in one of the trucks or Chase is just too busy, I get it, man. He, what they're building is, is crazy. I mean, they've, they've had to put together not only concept and the design and, and whatnot. There, there was no housing here. So what do they do? Well. Off in the distance, key members, they provide housing and they built a little town. Like it's pretty cool. They've got a merch store. We're going to check out in a little bit. It's awesome stuff, man. But yeah, like I was saying, even if, even if I, we don't get to go for a ride or whatnot, this is, this is, uh, this is a treat. It's really cool. So the, the cab over version, are you getting, planning to build more like that? You reckon or no, no that'll be a one off for us. One off for them. Okay. I, I honestly, uh, it's, I don't, I'm not a fan of the center seat and driving position. We tried it in Topsy. I didn't like it. Yep. I don't like it. Both sides are blind sides with it. Okay. So it doesn't, Great doesn't forward. solve, it doesn't solve an issue. It causes two. Well, it solves one issue, but causes another issue. Yeah. It's like, yeah, the forward visibility is amazing. It's like a dozer. You can see really, really well going forward, but like yeah. down your sides, trying maneuver yeah. and like. Not so good. Yeah. 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 It's, yeah. Ah, it's hit or miss. I see some advantages, but I prefer this. Uh, it looks, it looks great. That's a big truck, man. Like standard size truck size. It just seems. Trucks are. Big. I know trucks are big. <laughs> <laughs> well, it's vocational truck too, though, right? Yeah, it's about the same you know, size as like your Kenmore C five hundred. So yeah, okay. Which is a big truck, I guess. Compared to like a highway tractor, like Ooh. the hood slopes down like a normal truck. It doesn't feel so big. That yeah. part of the hood up there. Exactly. Yeah. Yeah. How'd you get your hands on a Nikola truck? Uh, <laughs> they went bankrupt. They went to the auction, so I bought it for two grand. 
<laughs> two grand. Yeah. There's two grand worth of copper in the thing. We're going to fix that up and put her back on the road. That's what I was wondering. If, is that the truck they pushed down the hill? <laughs> no, that one did sell though. Oh, it did? Jeez. So generator, exact same between the two? Yep. So just the exact same unit. Yeah, just turned it sideways. So you said this one will be kind of out of here at the end of the month? Yeah. Well, you see you got the steering gear off of Topsy. No? No, it, it not that one, but there, it's off. Oh, yeah. yes. Yeah, we had to do some testing. Here we are, inside MCON's truck. There's Edison seats. These are nice seats, man. Dark, dark, dark. There we go. There we go. Good old Vivor, hey? Same E axles, or are they different now? Uh, these two are the same, but hugely different. Yeah? Yeah, big one is top DC, it's got that center drive. Okay, yeah, yeah. It's got electric motor that drives each wheel on it. Oh, really? Yeah. So, so it doesn't. Motor, it drives this wheel, one electric motor, and then you can do. Really? Yeah, you can program each side and do different things. So cool tax control option. Right on. You can start doing burnouts with them. You know, weird, weird skid shift turns and stuff. <laughs> it's kind of interesting to see it. Like, can you regen one side while applying power on the other? Manufacturer said, because then it'd be like tractor steering. We break one side, but right. Together, so it help you turn sharper. That would be that'd be fun to try and break uh, and play around with. It break some parts. Oh no, you can't do that. <laughs> just, just straight up a good looking truck. This is pretty awesome to be able to come down here, take a look. Chase is a super busy guy. I think the last time we sat and talked for a couple hours and nobody's phone rang, but uh, that is not the case, man. They, they are busy building the community, building the future of vocational trucking, starting right here in Canada. Pretty, pretty cool. Well, here we are. We are uh, about ready to head her. Chase is on another meeting on, a, on the phone here. He's going to have to get going. I got to get going back on the road. I'm going to hit the merch shop. I'm going to head back for Penticton. We got a lot of work to do out here, but it's coming along. You know, the guy talks about doing things bootstrapping and whatnot. And, uh, you know, can you can you work smarter, not harder? All these goofy, you know, little, little phrases everybody says about business and, you know, makes them all sound smart. But, you know, I was just talking to Chase there. They got about 300 acres here. It still is a sawmill. They're selling gravel for local gravel guys. Lease that they got to the lumber side of it, selling gravel, it basically covers their, their, their payroll as well as having enough land for the test track and all that stuff. You know, like talk about working smart and you know, could have easily gone and went into a different situation where, you know, the only source of revenue was Edison. Whereas here, I've got all this land and uh, other people basically helping, helping cover the mortgage, helping, you know, just, just from leasing the land out. It's uh, pretty smart guys. Absolutely brilliant, man. Check out edison.ca. They got a merch store. Uh, picked myself up a shirt and uh, <laughs> cool little Edison saloon. But yeah, uh, support these guys. The Canadian guys doing amazing things in Canada.